Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about some brand new product drops that I have added to my collection, though I did do a purge not too long ago, but I think in a way it sort of made room for the new stuff. This brand has been around for a while. It's had its shine on YouTube and of course I'm late. What I'm looking most forward to this brand in particular, which is called Mish, is the high expectations of moisture levels. So that's really important when you're on a wash and go regimen and I really hope it works out for me. So I'll be giving you some insider clips into the routine as I'm speaking about the products and seeing how they work. I have not used them yet, but again, I am very excited to today. Next on the docket, I have three experiments that I wanna try that's gonna be included in this video. The first, I'm going to use just a leave-in conditioner and do my regular wash and go routine using my Kinky Curly Curling Custard as well as my Wet Line Gel. The second experiment will include for going using the leave-in conditioner and using the bounce defining curl cream as my wash and go however I have a feeling that creams don't aren't gonna really give me the results I want so I will show you the results just with the bounce curl cream and without any gels or custard and then if I feel that I need the gel and the custard to give me the results that I'm used to I will use that and then my final experiment is going to be where I'm using the leave-in conditioner and the curl bounce cream together again the company is not telling you to do this but I'm I want to give it its first shot but then I also want to listen to my hair if I need to do that. Here is my wash and go from last week. Obviously I have some flaking going on here but good definition overall. The beauty about me doing experiments is I don't go out of my house a lot so if something goes terribly wrong I can hide myself away at home until the four days have passed because I'm not really one to try and start over and I'm in my hair again that's more manipulation, breakage, less length retention we know how it goes anyway let's talk about these products so the first product that I was most interested in trying out was the Mish indulge moisturizing deep conditioner the smell of these products are intoxicating they smell so good so the instructions here is saying after shampooing section your hair and apply a generous amount of indulge deep conditioner into clean damp hair and then comb gently through hair from roots to ends to thoroughly distribute conditioner place a plastic cap over hair and leave it on for 15 to 30 minutes for an intense deep treatment you can sit under a hooded dryer with a plastic cap over your hair or sit under a hair steamer with no plastic cap for 10 to 15 minutes rinse thoroughly with warm water for best results use it once a week. I'm really at a point in my regimen that I want to streamline and make wash day as quick as possible because drying takes a long time so if I can save time on the other parts of my regimen that makes the drying not so bad so I probably will just use this for 10 minutes with a plastic cap no intense treatment and for the first experiment I will be using the lavish leave-in conditioner and styler I will use it as I normally would, my leave-in conditioners. They say you can use it as a detangler and a styler. This will obviously be for a leave-in conditioner for me. But it says, after washing and conditioning hair, apply lavish leave-in conditioner to damp hair. And I'm all about wet, so I don't know, we'll see. Rake the product evenly through your hair with your fingers. Style as desired, do not rinse out. Lavish may be used daily to refresh and replenish dry and thirsty hair. And finally, we have the Mish Bounce Curl Defining Cream which I'm on the fence about, but I also heard such good reviews about it that if this doesn't work for me for wash and goes, then I can always use it for like twist outs and braid outs. Prior to use, make sure that your hair is freshly washed and conditioned, section hair and apply evenly, style as desired. Can be used on many different hairstyles such as twist outs, braid outs, wash and go, flexi raw sets, and many more styles that crave both definition and moisture. No need to pair a leave-in conditioner with this product. For best results, allow hair to completely dry and set by sitting under a hooded dryer. For my final experiment, however, I will use both of these together just to see what happens. I That is the fun and joy of playing around with my hair and figuring out this whole adventure of what works and what doesn't work for my wash and go regimen. So let's get started.
confusing my hair and this is still day one so as the week progresses i may decide to stretch it i don't normally stretch it on day one i just kind of let it do its own thing but tomorrow i may take my blow dryer with my concentrated concentrator nozzle and stretch it out just a little bit but the shrinkage doesn't bother me at all i actually prefer my hair shrunken in the wash and go state as opposed to trying to stretch it and get length because that does alter the coils a little bit but for the most part my roots are still wet but i'm gonna give it some time because i don't try to do my diffusing and get it all 100 percent dry in the first day i definitely like to just take breaks and things like that that way i don't get careless so other than that this wash and go has to be my best one so far I am just so pleased with the results and yeah I'm really really surprised the products everything absorbed perfectly I don't have any flaky I may have like minor flakes but nothing like crazy how I've had like in the past couple of wash days so yeah I will check in with when it's day four and then we'll do another experiment Alrighty, here is experiment number two where I will be using just the Bounce Curl Defining Cream for my wash and go. Now I'm just going to cut to the chase and tell you that this was an utter and complete fail. Not to mention that it really was something I regretted because when you take as much time as I take to ensure that my hair is properly cleansed and conditioned and to apply a product that to me did not i was just really disappointed and here's where my real irritation comes from because these brands will market their product as being able to work on kinkier textures like mine and they'll tell you that in their comments and in their paid reviews or sponsored reviews and it's the complete opposite so mish did uh, their video on this product as a wash and go there was a comment in that wash and go video that asked if they could show this on a kinkier textured hair woman and this person was referred to a link that led them to a twist out, not a wash and go. So I was under the impression that maybe it works for a wash and go because it states that it will. And the company and brand did not specify to say that it wouldn't work for a kinkier textured woman like myself. So I just feel a bit bamboozled and of course, just irritated because again wash days are I mean I love my wash days but to do all that I do for these kind of results is very disappointing so not a product I will use for a twist I mean a wash and go but I will keep it to see how it works with you know twist outs and braid outs and even after I dried it, it didn't absorb entirely from my strength, so maybe I put too much, but my definition was okay, not what I'm used to, and definitely will never, ever do a cream wash and go. I don't care what brand makes this claim, I will never use a cream wash and go. So here are my final thoughts coming up. All right, guys, so just capping off this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it to the end, you're a real one. <laughs> I know it's pretty long, but I wanted to make this as in-depth as possible because there aren't many reviews of this particular brand, Mish, on women with my hair texture. And so I love, love the deep conditioner. It is my favorite, favorite deep conditioner I've ever tried on my hair, especially when you really emulsify it, add a little hot water, 
it softens my hair so much and it actually helps me continue on with proper and gentle finger detangling and I just I love the smell all the products smell amazing so if my hair smells like this I'm happy about that but I loved loved the deep conditioner so if there's a product I'm gonna repurchase it's that one the leave-in conditioner was okay I think it did mesh pretty well with my gel it is a lot thicker and I think it did produce a little bit of flaking but for the most part I think I'll just use it up uh, I'm, I don't, I'm not returning any of the products so I will use the leave-in conditioner in future wash days as well and as you can see with the curl bounce bounce curl defining cream it was a big no and as you can see this is probably my worst wash and go to date it is so not defined this is the kind of wash and go that's going to cost me lots of knots and tangles so i am on the fence i'm juggling back in between if i should do my hair tomorrow because the longer you let a wash and go sit the more tangly it will get i may just jump the gun and wash my hair tomorrow because this is a state that i don't like my hair in it's dry and it's this is just not the the way I like to wear my wash and go. If I'm gonna wear it, it's not gonna look like this. Definitely won't be using that for a wash and go, but I will be trying it for twist outs and braid outs in the future when I decide to do some protective styling. And otherwise, I don't really regret my purchase. I think that each product has its own strength. The deep conditioner was pretty much the star and I'm really glad I may end up purchasing another jar when they update their packaging unless it's still on sale. But otherwise, I hope this review was helpful for any of you ladies out there with fine, kinky type, you know, for for reference, uh, natural hair. And thumbs this video up, leave a comment. If you have any questions about any of the products, please feel free to leave them down below and I will be happy to answer that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.